everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's gonna be very, very echoey in here because we're at the old house and there's basically no furniture in here anymore. There's only a few pieces that we are donating to a battered woman's shelter, so they have to come pick that up at a later date. But <laughs> it is very echoey in here. But we came to actually clean up a bit. I'm gonna go in the room and see if the carpet helps a bit. So we came to clean up and start getting the carpets clean, the counters cleaned off and everything because I start a trip tomorrow. It's technically a three day trip. It's really a two day trip. I just get in after midnight on the second day so it counts as a three day. But we are going to Santa Domingo. <laughs> so I have never been, I'm actually very excited. So the last time I saw you guys, I told you my doctor told me I had to wait another week or two. Well, it's finally time, I get to fly again. I'm so excited, I'm pumped. So we came to the house to kind of clean up for a bit, which I wanna go ahead and thank Hoover for sponsoring today's video because we are gonna be using the Hoover Smart Wash Carpet Cleaners to get some of these carpets all cleaned and ready to go so we can give this house back over to the owners and enjoy our new house. So I don't know if you guys remember this bad boy right here but we actually cleaned the carpets in this video um, of the new house it's very easy to set up and get going we just filled this with some warm water I got a big old jug of the cleaner so we put some cleaner in here it's really inexpensive and it just does an awesome job which you're about to see so if you guys also remember this is the spot chaser so this can actually disconnect from the button over there and it does have attachments so in case you're trying to spot treat like maybe you're your pet made a mess or something you can do that and it does have a separate cleanser that can go into here but we're just going to end up doing the whole carpet so we have the standard cleaner in there and let's get this baby going <laughs> Chip just finished cleaning the carpets and I'm absolutely shook. You guys, there were stains in these carpets since before we even got the house that I just thought were permanently ingrained into the carpet. I thought there was zero chance of them coming out and I'm standing here just staring in disbelief that they are really out of the carpet and not just one of them they're all out of the carpet and I'm just shocked at how well and how easy the Hoover Smart Wash works. Like you literally use it like a vacuum. You push it forward, it washes, you push it back, it dries and boom, magic. And the cleaner is very, very inexpensive. Like I said, for that big old thing of cleaner will only cost me $19. So I'm just absolutely shocked. Like thank you Hoover for sponsoring today's video and for working magic on this house. So if you want to purchase your own Hoover Smart Wash or any of the amazing Hoover products, be sure to go down to the link down below and click that in the description box. And again, thank you to Hoover for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and finish cleaning and get back to the other house because I need to pack and start getting ready. Make sure I got all my flight attendant stuff because we are going on my first trip back. So Chip and I, oh, there you go. <laughs> my wings wasn't all the way open. So Chip and I finished cleaning up at the house as much as we can for today. We'll probably have to go at least one more time, but we are picking up our favorite poke from our favorite poke place. I need to start packing and getting ready because my sign-in time is at 7.35. <laughs> You guys, it sucks. It's like, I'm so excited to be back, but man, this is an early one. This is a real early one, because I think our wake up time is gonna have to be around five o'clock or so. But the kind of the thing of the word of the thumb, what is it called? The, the, the rule, the rule of thumb, the rule of thumb. <laughs> God. The rule of thumb is the most you get done it tonight before your trip, the less you have to do. Hey, Chippy Chip, coming with the goods. Goodbye, Chippy Chip. <laughs> um, the less you have to do. So I'm going to try and get as much done tonight as possible. So that way when I get up tomorrow, it's not so bad. We are going to be working four flights tomorrow. So we, we going to be working for it. But we just got the food. Thank you, Chip. We just got the food. So we're going to head back to the house and let's start getting ready. We got to find our wings, find our name badge, make sure I have everything thing and it's not somewhere packed. Oh, I dare two babies in there. Hi babies, you say hi. Hi babies. 
please ignore the closet. Everything is kind of in disarray. It doesn't have a home yet, and that's kind of like the common theme of the house is where we have most of it here, pretty much all of it here. We just don't have everything where it needs to be yet. But anyways, that's not the point. I am packing. So y'all know I love my stone go. Because of my wrist, I'm trying to just pack lighter. It's only a two day, so I'm not gonna be taking the works. I have one outfit. I have two shirts to choose from, a pair of sleepwear. I have my uniform for the second day, extra pantyhose, one pair of shoes, and that's all I'm gonna bring. And then I'll put my toiletries and stuff down here. Then always bring a swimsuit as a flight attendant. Never take it out of your bag, just have one and all my extras. And then I, of course I have my sweater in case the plane gets cold. So I'm really trying to keep it down to the basics for what I need need. In this rare occurrence, I am going to do my best not to overpack. Also, because it is an international trip, I can't really bring food. I can only bring food that I'm going to eat before we actually get there. But that's it. I'm, I'm going to keep it light and tight and, and, and that'll be it. So we're going to throw this in there. I already have my tablet and my watch on the charger. So I'm going to jump in the shower and then I will see you guys very, very early in the morning. <laughs> at the airport Woo! this feels good I'm excited it is about to be 7 in the morning so our check-in time is 7 35 today we are working four, <laughs> four flights that excitement's going to end real soon today we are working four flights we are going from Dallas to Miami Miami to Orlando Orlando back to Miami and then Miami to Santa Domingo I do think that we have an hour and a half sit today uh, uh, I don't remember exactly where I I, I want to say maybe it's in Orlando it's somewhere today but there there is an hour and a half sit little sit time and I didn't pack food because it's international I was gonna bring um, a lunch today and I forgot <laughs> so at some point or another today we're gonna have to find some very 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 gourmet excellent delicious airport food um, but I don't want to waste any more time I don't know what security looks like so let's go ahead unload our stuff get inside get checked in and get the day started this is good vibes I'm feeling good and also look at the sunset I don't know if y'all can really see it out of here but hopefully y'all could see it whenever I was driving over the sunset was very pretty today so good vibes all the way around let's get our stuff out and let's go inside All right, so I am in the airport. It's a little bit slow. So for this early, you can tell like summer travel is finally over. Things are slowing down. People are back in the school year, which to me is very nice. Obviously, I love the busy travel season, but I like the slower travel season a little bit more. I think all flight attendants do, but I have about 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna chill, go to my gate, and then we're gonna work our first flight. and ignore my big crusty dusty face but welcome to Orlando <laughs> Boy, do we have a lot to catch up on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my stuff put away, getting my clothes changed. I have food that I picked up at the Miami airport, so we are gonna have a little dinner and a chat in this hotel room because y'all missed out on a lot. So I got the stuff all put away. I thought that said 1111. I was about to make a wish on nothing. <laughs> so I picked this up at La Creta in the Miami airport. So it's grilled chicken with onions, some Spanish rice and some veggies. And of course y'all know, I had to get the hot sauce to go. Always the hot sauce. I look like a complete scrub, so bear with me. I at least wanna walk you through what happened today because it has been a long day. We were this close to timing out. It has just been insane. It's been almost a 15 hour work day. So basically, 
Flight number one was Dallas to Miami and the plane was late coming in, which rolled into us making us late. Then we go to flight number two, which was Miami to Orlando. Miami was having thunderstorms. There were thunderstorms all over Florida. So Miami had a ground stop. I think it was about 30 minutes or so. So we were delayed getting into Orlando, which then goes into flight number three, which I personally think was the worst one because Orlando had so many thunderstorms and just such craziness that we kept having ground stop after ground stop after ground stop. Like it was just going on nonstop. It ended up being a three hour ground stop delay. I felt so bad. We, we did do a service for the passengers and gave them water and snacks and really tried to help them with their connections because Miami is a huge airport for connections. So I knew that one was gonna be tough, but at the end of the day, nobody can control the weather. So you just have to roll with the punches. But then because that third flight was so bad, that affected our fourth flight, which was supposed to be from Miami to Santa Domingo. So that completely got recrewed. We got reassigned twice. The first one being, they took us off the Santa Domingo. They said, you're just going to stay in Miami just with the three flights. You're going to have a nice 25 hour layover. They even gave us a hotel. We were like, okay, you know, I was sad because I really wanted to go to Santa Domingo. I've never been, but I was like, you know what? 25 hours in Miami, like how much can you really complain? But by the time that we got on the ground and we opened the door, there was a manager waiting for us. It sucks so bad when this happens, you guys. And it's part of being a flight attendant, it just happens. And the manager was like, you have been reassigned, but now you're gonna go back to Orlando. So back to all the mess that we just dealt with. We haven't eaten all day. I had like one empanada earlier and that was it. So I was like, we have to get food. We have to go work this fly. And you know, you're in that mindset already that you're gonna be done because we thought, okay, we're staying in Miami. We're gonna have the hotel. The Orlando flight was a bit delayed, just trying to get flights out and stuff like that. But finally, <laughs> Finally, we are in Orlando. <laughs> I forgot for a second, we are in Orlando. It has just been a long day. My brain is tired, I'm hungry. So I don't know who has it out for me, but I think they really alerted them. They're like, Kat's coming back, she's been out for weeks. And then they do this, they give, they give me this. They're like, remind her of what this can be. And that's basically what happened, but you know what? It is what it is. I am happy to be in a nice warm bed. I'm happy to have food right there ready to eat. So yeah, I'm gonna grab and I will catch up with you guys after I stuff my face. Wow, this is, <laughs> she is cute. Finished eating and kind of chilled for a bit, but now I'm super tired. I was messaging Allie earlier and let her know that I was gonna come to Orlando most likely last minute, but she went to sleep before she got the final verdict that I didn't end up making it here. So I may do brunch with her tomorrow morning if she sees it in time. If not, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do, but tomorrow the schedule changed a bit. We're gonna be working two flights. So this layover is 16 hours, I believe. Tomorrow we then have two flights. So we are going from Orlando back to Miami. Then we have a four hour and 30 minute sit. You guys, I have never, I have never had a sit for quite that long. So this is extensive. Technically, because it is over four hours, they're supposed to get us a hotel room. But anyways, the second flight is going to be Miami to Dallas. So we're not gonna get into Dallas until after midnight. So it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Hopefully still a good day, but definitely a long day. So this trip did not come to play. This one, they said, Kat, you won't work for it. Also for anybody wondering, my wrist is still doing good. It hurt at a few points like throughout the evening, but overall, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy I listened to the doctors and took a few weeks off. So I'm feeling pretty recovered, refreshed, and all of that. But time for me to finally get some well-needed shut eye. And I will see you guys tomorrow to figure out what in the world we're going to be getting into. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. This bed is so comfortable. I'm like, I can't get up. I've been like chilling here for the last like hour and a half. I looked to see if there was like anything around us and there's really not much. I would have to Uber somewhere to do anything, but we only have a couple hours before I have to start getting ready and get to the airport. So this is gonna be, this one's gonna be kind of a slam click. Allie's going to Magic Kingdom today. So 
can't can't go do that. I think it would have worked out had I actually known I was coming to Orlando, but I didn't know and I almost timed out in Miami. And then obviously we were supposed to be in Santa Domingo. So with all the chaos going on, it did not really work out. Wow, that is lovely. <laughs> So I think I'm actually about to make some coffee and then jump in the shower and we're gonna get ready to go have two more flights today. Uh, hopefully we end up where we're supposed to end up when we're supposed to end up there. <laughs> All right, please not pike place. Ooh, what is this? Okay, never seen this, so I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we're gonna check this out instead. And I guess worst case, there's some tea. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many so I am pretty much beaten to the gods. I did my hair and my makeup, but now I'm gonna heat up my food from last night and have some leftovers before I gotta get on changed, get packed and get ready to go because we only have an hour left before I have to be downstairs. So I gotta put a little bit of motion to the ocean and hurry up and get ready and get down there. So I'm putting away my in-flights and getting out my normal heels and I wanted to show you guys this shoe bag. I will link it down below. I got it off of Amazon and I love it. My other shoe bag recently broke, but I love this one. It has a divider in the middle so you can keep like left shoe or right shoe. It may actually fit two pairs of shoes depending on like what shoes you're putting in here. Otherwise you can just do left and right like I do, but I'm in love with this shoe bag. I either put it in the hanging closet at the front and hang it up on a hanger or I just keep it by my jump seat so that way I can interchange my flight shoes and my in-flight shoes, my airport shoes and my in-flight shoes. So if you're looking for one, I'll link that down below for you. I think it's super cute too in the design. All right, I am all dressed and ready. <laughs> so I'm finishing packing up right now and then we have to head out the door. time to get our things and head downstairs and we're gonna be heading to the Orlando Airport. I had to think about it sometimes like you really start getting confused. Welcome to our hotel in Miami. Um, but basically our contract states that if you have a scheduled um, sit time that is more than four hours, they have to give you a hotel room. So welcome to our day hotel room. I will show you guys around. It's gonna be short. I've never done this before, but I very much appreciate it. So I'm like, wow, at least I get to get out of the uniform for a couple hours, which I very much appreciate. So let's take a look at our day room. I feel kind of bougie saying that, like our day room. <laughs> so we have this cute little studio setup, which I kind of recognize this. So I feel like I may have been at this hotel before, but maybe not. I'm not exactly sure. And then I'll spin you around. We have the closet and all that good stuff. So this is us for a bit. So dinner is all ordered. It should come in about an hour. I got some street tacos and elote. Because when you're in Miami, you gotta get some good old food. Miami has great food. They have awesome Cuban food, Latin food, seafood. It's, it's all amazing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of my uniform. We have about two and a half hours left here. So once the food gets here, we'll eat and, and all that. So right now I'm just gonna chill, put my stuff away and kind of hang out, enjoy our new hotel. <laughs> I, I really do love that they did this. This looks so good. So this one's kind of messy, but I have two tacos or three, three tacos. I have three tacos, two chicken, one pork. I also got 
some corn, and then I have a salsa verde as well as a habanero salsa. So I am about to grub. I cannot wait to scarf this down. And then we have about 40 minutes before we need to start getting ready and getting out the door. This has been amazing. I wish I had a hotel room on all of my sets. It's nice. I got my own little cozy spot over there. Just been watching some YouTube and working by side. It's been really nice. But let's go ahead, get some food in there and eat. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all packed up and ready for round two. So we are gonna go work our last flight. I'm ready to go. It's already dark outside. I'm ready to be home. <laughs> so I got my stuff together and let's go downstairs and head to the Miami airport. Look at the stretches, hi mama. Hi. Oh, you're so cute, mama. That's not nice. Oh, you crazy. So it's officially 1.11 right now. I am home, but I am so tired. So I'm gonna get changed. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Press that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.